I told you guys I was going to do a book review and I am doing a review on the Rand McNally Road Atlas 2025. I wanted to do a review on this book. I actually bought it as a learning tool for my grandson so um, I could teach him how to use a map because it seems to be a dying art. And then I realized after the incidents that we've been having over the last couple of weeks, especially um, with the crowd strike uh, issue and planes and phones and internet down, um, I figured it's time to start using my degree. I have a degree in emergency management and at one time uh, before I started YouTube and before my husband passed away, I was actually looking forward to getting my bachelor's degree in emergency management and working for FEMA. I had already put in uh, several applications and uh, I was hoping to get a job where I could work at home or maybe even travel to different events um, because I have that background. But uh, that didn't work out. So I decided I could use it for other things. Now, I'm not so much a prepper, but there's nothing wrong with being prepared. And uh, I grew up in Florida. We've been through several hurricanes, had to go, goodness, almost two weeks without electricity at one point. Um, we lived off the generators and... Um, like the government handed out ice and water and uh, we ended up with several cartons of MRIs, uh, but, but we survived. We did really well. It was in the middle of summer. It was hot, but, but we managed. We got through it. So it is possible to go without electricity for a little while. Um, you just have to be prepared for it. And uh, so I think the first thing that I'm going to go over is just really basically um, why you really should have some type of map or map book uh, in your possession so that if your GPS goes out you'll and you need to go somewhere, you have a map. My steering wheel's in the way and I apologize. So I ended up buying this thing. It was like $20, but um, it's Canada, Mexico, and the United States. And it's made in the USA. So it has a book of contents. You can see that. And uh, it's supposed to be easy to read. So let me flip through. Well, right off the beginning is Alabama. There we go. So they have it set up this way. You can see it on the map. So I'm in the Birmingham area and uh, well actually this is pretty easy to read. Um, it has the county roads and the major highways and that's good but if you're wanting to find maybe smaller roads or less travel roads then you'd probably want to get a map. I think you can get on Amazon. And not only buy these map books, but you can also buy individual maps for your state. And they are going to be a little bit more detailed. Let me see. So this is the Birmingham area. And then when you flip it over, you've got Montgomery. And it goes all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. So that's nice to have. Let me see if I... They have more detailed maps of the cities. No. The next one is Alaska. <laughs> um, so it probably wouldn't hurt if uh, to see if you can find some smaller maps that have more details. I know um, with older maps, it would give you more details of the cities that were uh for the state, but um, I guess I'm not doing that anymore. I've been doing maps for years. One of my jobs was uh, knowing my area. As a 911 operator, I had to know where people were and how to get to where they were. And uh, we didn't always have GPS, at least when I first started. I had to know my area, so if somebody told me or could describe where they were at, 
um, hopefully I could figure out where they were and send them help that they needed. Bug just flew by. My chickens are out here chasing bugs. They're really good hunters. So like I said, I didn't want to make this too long, but um, like I said, this is the easy to read 2025 Rand McNally, Canada, United States, and Mexico. It's something that you really should put in your car because you know, you never know when you're going to be in an area when you don't have internet. We still have spaces uh, in the United States that are not covered by um, phone service. Uh, with the internet going down or phone service going down, you might not be uh, have the ability to use your GPS. And uh, it's also just really good to know how to read a map. It really is. Um, so I'm encouraging everyone to uh, maybe take a look at this or buy a map for your area. Or again, it's a good learning tool. Teach your children how to use a map. It really is something that is a dying art. It's a knowledge that we need to pass on to our children, to our teenagers. Um, okay, well, they do have... Oh, I take that back. In the back, they have major cities that are more detailed. Here's Kansas City. All right, so that's a good thing. I need to sit and go through this book. Actually, I had flipped through it, and then I was just going to go ahead and put it in my truck in the pockets. It's got these big pockets on the side, and I was just going to go ahead and put it in the pocket and have this in my car. There's a couple of other books that um, you guys might be interested in, and I may do that on another on another video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is some information that you guys can use when you're traveling, something that you might want to put in your car. Um, we used to use the term redundancy, which is just another word for a backup. Um, when I worked at 911, we always had backup redundancies, which was paper. And it's really crazy to see that the airlines, once they lost their computers, they could do nothing. Um, when I worked for 911, we went down, we had our paper backup, and uh, we practiced it. When I was doing training, we trained people how to use it. It's just um, crazy how so many things came to a full stop when there are other ways to, to do things. It's amazing that Southwest was still able to get their planes up and fly around. Um, they may be my new plane company or my airline that I use. I actually just flew Southwest to Tampa and back uh, just what, in May. It was for my birthday. It was in June. So I just flew Southwest and it was interesting. It was very no frills. So, um, but uh, yeah, but they were still up and flying. So there you go. Um, Sometimes having technology is not always the way to go. So again, this is a good book to have, to have it in your car, uh, especially uh, if you're traveling or even just going from, you know, work to home if you have to, if you have to commute and the church just went by and uh, you need to find another way to get home or um, who knows, it's, it's always good to be a little better prepared and have a good map book in your car. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a pleasant and joyous day and I will see you on my next video.